Hi everybody, welcome to my homestead and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to be going over a comment from Heidi Gentry uh, that I thought was fascinating. Uh, it's about hail and fire. So, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, like this video if you end up liking it. Make sure to share it on your social media because I don't think a lot of people know this. And uh, make sure to leave your comments. So, uh, thank you Heidi Gentry for this comment. She says, in June and July of 2020, the hog fire in California created its own hail. Hail mingled with fire. Uh, she's saying that because she's responding to this video that I did called The First Angel Sounded. Is the earth on fire? Uh, and the answer is yes, by the way. Um, in that video, I go over this scripture right here in Revelation 8. Uh, this is after the seventh seal is opened. So I know some people have issue with this already. But it, just, just hear me out. Just hear me out. In verse 7, it says, The first angel sounded, and there followed hail and fire, mingled with blood. So, hail, fire, and then obviously people dying. And uh, they were cast upon the earth, the third part of the trees were burnt up, and all green grass was burnt up. Okay, so hail and fire. I'm going to be honest, whenever I saw this, I kind of like viewed hail and fire as like... Um, Asteroids are like, um, you know, hitting the earth, uh, maybe burning it up, like, but, but no, uh, Heidi just pointed something out uh, that I didn't know occurred. So here we go. I'm going to read these. I haven't read these yet. So uh, I'm just doing kind of a quick video, but check this out. Fire and ice. California wildfire makes its own hail. So I, literally, um, now, You've probably heard before that uh, wildfires, they kind of, they can produce their own weather. Because when it, when it comes down to it, okay, uh, what I went to school for originally was to become an aircraft dispatcher. And I got my license, but I didn't end up going into that job. But um, I had to learn, you know, aviation weather. And all weather comes down to is the uneven distribution of heat on the Earth's surface. That's what causes all weather. It all comes down to heat. Um, so obviously wildfires, yeah, they can produce their own weather. Let's uh, read through a little bit of this. Um, a wildfire burning in northeastern California created some wild weather this week. Uh, when was this? This was July 23rd, 2020. Um, including hail. My gosh, that's such a weird concept. A wildfire producing weather that creates hail. Uh, okay, a photographer at the scene described the dime-sized pieces of ice that's, uh, that dropped on that dropped on flames Tuesday. Um, as if this fire couldn't get any weirder, uh, this is a quote: the, the a smoke column from the hog fire, the hashtag hog fire, collided with a storm cell, uh, evolving into hailstorm with lightning that dropped dime-sized dime-sized hail right on the fire. <sighs> Uh, uh, end quote. Josh Edelson posted on Twitter, uh, the temp at dropped 40 degrees in like 10 minutes. Holy cow. That is so great. I'm going to click on this picture. Of course, it's going to take us to Twitter. Um, look at that. <laughs> it's fire and hail. It's fire and hail. Uh, let's see. Let's look at this. Yeah, those are some pretty dark clouds of smoke uh, and clouds of water I, I don't know um the hog fire burning just outside susanville california has scorched more than 14 square miles and prompted evacuation orders and road closures in lassen county near the nevada state line uh, i was actually you know what i was actually covering this uh no not the hog fire but this year there was another fire that was going on. I think, I think it was the Dixie fire that was uh, threatening Susanville. I can't quite remember, but I remember Susanville and I remember Lassen County. Um, okay, it's fairly normal for a wildfire to create weather that produces rain, thunder, and lightning, but hail isn't typically part of that. Pyrocumulus clouds uh, that produce rain are not all that unusual. Many big fires have these clouds. Weather.com meteorologist Jonathan Bells explained. Uh, pyrocumulus form when heat from a fire causes air to rise into the atmosphere, where it then cools and condenses. Um, 
you know, if there's moisture in that air. Uh, storms, storms building up in the region of the hog fire boosted that process. Okay, and here's some more pictures. So, you know, I, I don't know. I, I don't think it's too unreasonable to assume that we're probably maybe going to have some more of this um, as the years go by. You know, because this year was worse for wildfires than last year. And just like wildfires have been the thing for the last few years. And it's probably just going to continue. Um, okay, let's let's look at this one here. Um, free kale storm reported over hog fire near Susanville. Uh, okay, no, we don't need to read that. Um, fire and hail, apocalyptic pictures of California blazes. I, I think it's really uh, funny how a lot of these news stories that, that I cover, uh, they use this word um, in the title of their articles. This really is literally apocalyptic. This literally is apocalyptic. This is mentioned in the book of Revelation <laughs> with the first angel sounding, hail and fire. How, mu how much more literal can you get? Um, apocalyptic, apocalyptic landscapes were captured by photographers in California, USA, where wildfires raging since last week have created their own weather. Um, I don't think we're going to get anything else out of this one. Sorry, I didn't do a whole lot of research before I started this. I just wanted to do kind of like a quick video. Um, but, wow, look at these pictures. Oh my gosh. The world really is on fire, you guys. It really, really is on fire. Um, okay, I do want to read this. Um, this is from this year, July 20th of this year. Um from fire clouds to fire tornadoes, here's how wildfires can create their own weather. Let's, let's read a little bit of this. Uh, story highlights. Sometimes wildfires can create their own weather. Pyrocumulus nimbus are an explosive storm cloud actually created by the smoke and heat from wildfire. Some of the ferocious wildfires this summer in the West have spawned fire whirls. Um, this year has been brutally hot uh, been a, a brutally hot dry summer in the western U.S. with hundreds of heat records broken amid an unprecedented drought that has created tinderbox for uh, ferocious wildfires. Weather often contributes to the growth and spread of wildfires and high heat, low humidity, gusty winds, and lack of rainfall are among the prime culprits. But fires can also influence the weather. Sometimes wildfires can create a witch's brew of weather, include, including pyrocumulus clouds, thunderstorms, dry lightning, and even fire tornadoes. And uh, as, as we now know, also hail. Uh, here's a look at some of the types of weather that fire, wildfires can create. Um, okay, so I'm not gonna really go into that too much. Dry lightning, fire tornadoes, and fire whirls. I know that you've seen that before. Um, and then the article pretty much ends. So, um, you know, you'll just have to let me know what you think about this. Put it in the comments below. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're probably going to see more of this. Uh, <laughs> this is pretty remarkable. I don't know how often it happens. But I'm just assuming that as the years go by and we have more and more fires, and I think that is going to happen, uh, there's probably going to be more of this. So I wouldn't be surprised if you could say that Revelation 7, Revelation chapter 8, verse 7 uh, has been fulfilled. You know, I did that previous video about all the wildfires that have been happening in the last few years across the entire world. And not just like fires, but like major, major fires. And now on top of that, we also have evidence of um, hail along with fire. So I'll just leave it there. Uh, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, um, like this video if you liked it, make sure to share it on your social media so others can be aware that, uh, that this scripture is maybe being fulfilled right now. Um, leave your comments and I'll talk to you guys later.